Hey gang, Diana Trout here today with you. Uh, welcome to the studio. I'm going to go through some rescue books with you today. I have an online class and a class coming up. If you're in my neck of the woods, uh, that's Philadelphia area in Pennsylvania, I'm doing a class in May over at the Abington Art Center, and I, I will link below. Anyway, let's get to a closer look at rescue books. Here are a few books I've made over the years. Uh, this one is huge, and you've probably seen me work in this one. It's Copic Bound, and I've been working in this journal for a long time. I think, let's see, I can't see a date. 2011. I still have some pages to go in here, and I just pull it out when I feel like working in it. So it's been a studio companion for quite a few years. This book, this one is a more simply bound book, and this is the one, this is similar to the one that we'll be making at the Art Center. Um, with, I love to make books with different kinds of pages and glue-ins and different kinds of papers. It makes the whole thing just so much more fun and it sort of gives you a bond, an automatic bond to your journal. So this is similar to the one we'll be making. We won't be doing eyelets, but uh, it's similar. Now you can make a rescue book from an old copy book and that's a lot of fun too. Here's another book that I made years and years ago uh, from, a, from an old book. I'll link below the... You can just see how warm and inviting this is. It, it, it is to me because it, it, uh, well, as you're making it, you're sort of entering into the process of art journaling as you're starting. So this is why I love this, these books so much, and I've taught them so many times over the years. I'm going to put links below. Oh, it's like visiting an old friend, really, these journals. They're so rich, just with, um, this was, I'm not sure why this is in here, but that's okay. I can't help but remember moments when I go through a journal. And in particular, I have a special love for my own rescue book journals. This is a great beginner class for just learning to stitch and learning how to handle uh, bookbinding techniques such as signatures and um, piercing and stations and all of those bookbinding techniques that are the basis, the beginning, of becoming more fluent in bookbinding. And these techniques are simple, and I've thrown in a lot of creativity and creative ideas. This was a book I made in the online class. I used magazine, uh, this was actually a calendar page, I think, loose leaf paper, gessoed pages, and uh, stamped pages, envelopes, old envelopes, ledger sheets. I've done some weaving here with washi tape. There's so much fun to be had in a journal like this that's already started, already worn in, and already a part of you. So I hope that if you can join me at Abington Art Center, you can hop on over to my blog and find the links below for both. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you see what you like. I'll be doing more journaling videos soon and you'll find links up in the corner there to much more journaling. See you soon.